People don't really understand why religious people become celibate. A lot of times they think, oh, that must be so hard for them to intentionally try to become celibate. It's like the person that looks at a courageous person, some use at done some act of courage, and they think, wow, it must have been so hard for that person to do something that they didn't want to do. To overcome, uh, to, to suppress some part of themselves. That's not how it works at all. When a spiritual person becomes celibate, it's not because he's suppressing some animal urge in accordance to the way that God would like it. You only think that because you have a, such a low version of what you think sexuality is. You think it's dirty or shameful or wrong in some instances. No. The only reason that these people are celibate is because you cannot relate to them. They are constantly trying to relate to you, constantly opening themselves up and showing their most deep parts to everybody they meet in the hope that using the true soul as a mirror will somehow allow people to find their own way in life. But what happens is these people start seeing the spiritual person as a god or a person who is holier than thou or higher or different than them in some way. They see a disconnect. The spiritual person tries to relate to them in every way possible. He offers them emotions that they cannot see, and instead they end up seeing him as a non-sexual being because he has separated himself from their constrained version of sexuality. Everybody else in life is constantly putting up with and perpetuating violent bullshit all of the time. They expect so little of themselves. When they all share the soul of God, it is my only hope in life to constantly, intimately portray some attempt at unlocking all of the possibilities of life and living by example, shamelessly, in front of everyone.